In this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you my top five tips to improve overnight in Madden 22 on the offensive side of the ball. What is going on guys, my name is Cody and I wanna thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel is focusing on helping people become the best Madden players they can possibly become. So if you wanna get better at this game, I just wanna encourage you to hit the subscribe button down below. We're gonna be uploading videos every single day that can help you get better on both sides of the ball in the Madden 22 season. Now, real quick, my top five tips to improve overnight on the offensive side of the ball. The first one is to have a pre-snap hypothesis. What I mean by that is you need to come to the line of scrimmage and actually say, who is open now? What are the routes on the field that I can actually think that are gonna actually work based off of his alignment? For example, as you see right here, I'm looking and I notice that he's got some pressure on the field. He could potentially blitz me off the edge. So if he sends pressure, I'm gonna throw the ball quick, get up field for a couple of easy yards just to kind of get the play going um, against my opponent. The next thing that I want to say as far as pre-snap hypothesis goes is you want to identify, okay, who is open now? And also, if they blitz me, where is my hot read? You always want to have a hot read. So like right here, he blitzed me off the right edge. I'm able to deliver the hot read and get an easy first down with Robert Tunyon. The second tip in my top five tips to improve overnight in Madden 22 is to go through your progressions. As you can see right there, I went through my progressions. You don't wanna just look at random routes. You wanna actually have a thought through progressional based read system that you can throw so that you can get receivers open. For example, on that play, I actually had a progression that simply said that I'm gonna go from my drag route to my uh, Z spot post route. And I was able to hit the Z spot post route once I noticed that the opponent had adjusted to the drag route. You wanna be able to go through your progressions. And that's why I like to recommend people to have a limited amount of plays that they're gonna run and really try to just master one play at a time because you, a play is only as good as your execution of it. So I'm going one to two to three to four to throw in my progressions. And if I don't make the right progression, what I like to tell people is if you're not gonna make your right progression, it's always better to take a, stack, take a sack or throw the ball away than to throw an interception. The third tip that I have uh, as far as how you can improve overnight for offense in Madden 22 is to start throwing corner routes. Corner routes are going to be the best route in Madden 22. I'm already predicting it. Either corner routes or out routes. And the reason why they're going to be so good in the next year's, in next season's game is because it's going to be very difficult for the opponent to be able to actually adjust enough to be able to stop this route. You're going to see that these corner routes are not only going to be good against zone, but they're also going to be one of the best routes in the game against man, especially if you have time in the pocket and you can throw them as rolling out or you play get them to play hard flats on your, on your underneath routes. You're going to see a return uh, in my opinion, of corner routes in Madden 22. Obviously, they were good in Madden 21. They were great in Madden 20. And I believe that you're going to see them become great again in Madden 22. The fourth tip that I have for you as far as the top five tips to improve your offense overnight in Madden 22 is to use the power counter theory. One of the things that you're seeing that I've done on this first drive is I've set everything up and I've been running the power counter theory. What I mean by that is I'm establishing a power play, I'm running it over and over and over again, and I'm forcing my opponent to have to respect all of the routes that I have on that play. This is why it's important to go through your progressions because as you go through your progressions, what you're gonna notice is you're gonna have receivers open. Even if they cover one receiver, you're gonna have another receiver. So in theory, you actually have five plays or five routes routes that you can hit on a given play. And so if you go through your progressions well and use the power counter theory, you're going to force them to play a very specific defense to stop this power play. And then what you want to do is you want to have a counter play that looks exactly the same as your power play, but it goes in a completely different direction. I've found more success out of that formula for offense than any other formula that I've tried to put, to, to put a really good offense together in Madden 21. Um, and I think that this is going to carry over into Madden 22. Now, the fifth and final tip that I have for you as far as Madden uh, 21, the top five tips to improve overnight uh, is in, in really an important one, specifically for myself. I think this is really important for me. And I honestly think it's going to be very important for you. And that is to not fall in love with the deep bomb. Madden 22, you're gonna find that you're gonna get a lot of one play touchdowns. There's gonna to be a lot of opportunity for bombs to work because just the way zones are gonna work, at least at the start of the year, you're gonna see that zones are gonna be very easily manipulated um, as they are every single year. But as a pro player, if you wanna become the best player in your community, what I would encourage you to do is not fall in love with the bomb. 
You want to actually go through your progressions. You don't just want to force the bomb every single play. If you try to force the bomb every single play, you're going to throw interceptions, you're going to make turnovers, and you're going to become very uh, inefficient offensively. What we want to go for is obviously we want to take the bomb if it's there, but we don't want to fall in love with it, and that's the only thing that we're going to read. One of my biggest things that I get asked all the time is, Cody, how do you run five wide? I want to, run, I want to learn how to run five wide. What's the best tip that you have for running five wide? And my best tip for running five wide is essentially what I just told you. Do not fall in love with the bomb. If you fall in love with the bomb out of five wide, you're going to start taking a lot of sacks. And when you take a sack in five wide, it's typically a 10-yard loss. Um, and, and that's really what I've found. You don't want to fall in love with the bomb. So anyways, guys, those are the top five tips uh, to improve overnight in Madden 22. I'm going to be posting videos every single day for the Madden 22 season. I'm also going to have offensive and defensive guides available for you. So make sure to be on the lookout for that. I'm going to put a link to my true fan membership as well. Real quick, for those of you that don't know, I actually release free offenses and defenses every single week to my community. All you have to do to get those is sign up for my text message membership, which is completely free for you to be able to do that. All you have to do is text the word Madden to 208-218-6900. Again, that number is 208-218-6900. It is down in the description. But real quick, the first, the top five tips to improve overnight in Madden 22 is going to be first have a pre-snap hypothesis. Come to the line of scrimmage and say, who's open now? What is the defense doing, at least from a pre-snap alignment? Where can they send pressure from? What are some of the things that I know to be true based off their alignment? The second question is to go, or the second tip is to go through your progressions. Have a clear set of progressions, one, two, three, four, five, or one, two, three, four, if you're blocking a running back. The third one is to use corner routes. Corner routes are going to be very effective in Madden 22. The fourth one is to use that power counter play to basically make everything look the same on offense so that your power play looks exactly identical to your, your counter play. And then the fourth tip, or the fifth and final tip, is to not fall in love with the bomb. Take your check downs if your bomb is covered. Do not just read the, block, the bomb as a bomb play and only look at one route. You have to go through your progressions. You have to look one, two, three to four to five. And if, you're, if you do that, if you do those tips, you're going to be very effective on the offensive side of the ball. So I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. And like I said, if you want to sign up for my free offenses and defenses that I'm releasing in Madden 22, we released over 20 offenses and defenses in Madden 21. And we're planning to release over 30 in Madden 22 go ahead and text the word Madden to 208-218-6900. And there's more links in the description for you to be able to check out if you want to get more connected with everything that I've got going for Madden 22.